I'm gonna be uh, disassembling a Tiana and a 2 Plus to see uh, what it's got inside. I've never been inside one of these. The only thing I did was uh, opening the back cover and uh, see what kind of um, uh, screwdriver I would need. Since Texas Instrument likes using Torx drives or Tor I mean Torx sc screws, I figure it's probably gonna be a, a slightly bigger uh, uh, screw uh, drive than uh, the uh, 92, not, not the 92, than the 89 or 89 Titanium or even the TI Inspire. So for this uh, this assembly, we're gonna be using uh, we're gonna be um, yeah using this bit this is a uh, uh, number eight torx drive i believe yeah all i did was uh, presenting uh this here and try to unscrew it and this is a perfect fit so this is a number eight torx drive haven't been online as a matter of fact i don't even i don't even know if there's a, dis a disassembly video of this online so yeah we'll find out anyways um uh, as you can see this one has a bunch of screws and uh thankfully i'm this is the only uh uh, driver I'm gonna need for this so number eight just keep that in mind torx number eight and uh, yeah okay so before I even do this something I like to do is uh I'm not gonna take out all the screw I'm just gonna keep them inside just make sure they are uh, unscrew all the way and then I can just uh, lift the back cover off because this is so many screws more than 10 and I just don't uh, it's, it's kind of annoying anyways I'm gonna pause the video take everything out and uh, resume okay so I kind of uh, uh, remove well not remove but uh, I you know what I mean I loosen up all the screws and uh, in general speaking you don't need to remove uh, the back battery screw but uh, we'll find out so I'm just gonna go and lift it gently uh, that was really easy Okay, so when you are removing the back cover or when you're disassembling this calculator, the 92 or 92 plus and the 89 as well, just make sure you have the calculator face down because the screws are not, the, I mean, not the screws, the, uh, the keys are just sitting there. If you flip the calculator, you're gonna just spill it all over the place and it's gonna take a quite a long time to put everything back together, okay? So, yeah, and this one, Oh, this is odd. Where was this one at? Huh. So I guess I didn't even need have to unscrew that one. So that one, I guess that one is just uh, there to keep the motherboard in place. Because this is where it sits. So, okay. So that's interesting. So I'm going to go and remove this one. Hmm. Very interesting. And this one is actually slightly uh, smaller than the other one. But huh. it's very interesting. Okay. So I don't need to remove this uh, uh, protective cover. You know, the only time you want to remove this is, uh, I guess, if the calculator is not working and you want to check and see if there is any corrosion. I mean, I could still uh, take it off and see if there is if there is any corrosion, but I'm just gonna use uh, from experience. I don't. This one, they were really well maintained, and uh, the terminals or these battery uh, terminals don't have not the terminals as well. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, these. Uh, uh, Coppers here, they don't have any corrosion, so that's a really great sign. Plus, the calculator, they were in excellent condition. Not not excellent, but for what, what it's worth, I mean, these came out more than 20 years ago. So yeah, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna remove this one. It's totally fine. So I'm just gonna to uh, remove the motherboard now, since all the screws are out. Uh, as you can see. Something I didn't mention, I did not mention in my initial video of this calculator is that uh, there is no uh, screen cover here. So uh, unlike the 92, this one does not have any screen cover. So this is the LCD right here. I'm actually touching the LCD. With the 92, you would see that uh, there is a, a screen protector, a screen cover. And that was there, I guess, to protect the screen from scratches. And even if you could actually take this off, which is something I did, even if you take it off, the it's not, it's not going to improve the... Uh, uh, it's not gonna improve your uh, the legibility of the of the words on the display by any means. It's not gonna increase or uh, it's not gonna make your display better. It's just there to protect it from scratches. Okay. So since this one does not have such a thing, I'm just gonna uh, press against that. Okay, gently, and uh, just uh, take the motherboard out. Okay. So as you can see, this is what I was talking about. These keys are just sitting there. Okay. If you were to flip this, then it's just gonna be all over the place. You know, all I did was a gently was gently pushing the motherboard out, 
and uh, this thing came out already. So imagine if I had it the other way around. Okay, so F1, this one is uh, gonna be over here. All right, so again, be really careful with this. I can't emphasize this enough. I'm gonna put this far, far away from me and uh, examine the motherboard display. Okay, so this is the, the rubber uh, the key sits on and it's re in really good shape, great shape actually. So you can remove this one. And once again, this thing is really well, what has really been well maintained. It has no corrosion, no nothing on it. Okay, so that's a great sign. All right. So, yeah, I guess that is that. Let's see. Yeah, this soldering. Right. So this is what the display looks like. It is essentially identical to the 92, regular 92, except that this one has a much better display. The way the uh, display is on the motherboard. Ah, you have the horizontal uh, cable and the vertical cable here. It's gonna represent the horizontal pixels and vertical pixels respectively. Okay. And uh, the sad thing is that uh, if the display on this thing uh, goes out then uh, you are out of luck there is a high chance that you will never be able to fix it unfortunately uh, which is a really bummer because they don't make these thing anymore so if your display goes bad then that's it you just the calculator is just gonna be good for nothing really <laughs> you can all you can only use uh, the cover that's it the motherboard is pretty much out but I guess you could also use the IO port but it's really it's really rare for the IO port on these things to go bad so there is that even though it happens but uh, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back together as you can see it's not really hard it's actually really easy to take it apart it's just unbelievably time consuming because of all the screws it's unbelievably time consuming and the way I did it is actually uh, the fastest way to do it not taking the screws out instead just uh, make sure you unscrew everything uh, fully and just uh, lift the bottom part instead of taking out each screw out individually so yeah, this is the best way to go about it. So to reassemble, I'm just gonna go and start with this one first. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this uh, here. It just sits over here. It's fairly easy. Lift it up, just make sure all the cutout are aligned with uh, the holes or the threads, okay? So now I can just uh, put the motherboard in and that's really it. you it's not really hard like I say it's really easy it's just uh, time consuming that's all okay I'm gonna put this back I guess this is the uh, screw I was talking about I guess it doesn't really matter we can even put this uh, before or after it doesn't really matter and uh, I'm just gonna put it before because why not okay because I want to check and see if uh, okay so if this thing wasn't in place and I have flipped this, then I just all the screws just would have gone, uh, gone out, gone out of the place. Anyways, this is the F1 I had to put back. Yeah, this thing is uh is in really good condition. I'm really happy with my purchase. Again, I want to remind you, I only spent uh, thirty-two dollars for this calculator. Uh, so yeah. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back here. Okay, and. Uh, that's all I gotta do. I just gotta pull the screws back in. I uh, usually like to start with the, uh, you know, the ones in the middle. I already did this one first. And uh, I'm gonna finish with the one on the side and up top. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video because I don't wanna edit this video. I just wanna, you know, upload it straight to YouTube. All right. Uh, <laughs> In the middle of uh, uh, putting this back together, I just uh, I just remembered that I I sh really should have taken out uh, the uh, you know the protective thing uh, the silver uh, uh, cover off so I can show you uh, the uh, inside such as the flash memory the processor the RAM and all that good stuff but uh, yeah unfortunately I completely forgot and the truth is you really won't be able to do much about that if like I say the only time you you want to take a, a close look at those see if uh, you can repair it. In case the calculator uh, stop working is uh, you know to check and see if uh, there is any corrosion there 
and uh, you can also find uh, the uh, uh, screenshots of those online so yeah that's something I completely forgot and uh, since this is time consuming kind of compared to uh, other calculators I didn't feel like I uh, uh, opened it up again and this is something that happens every time you take out uh, the batteries and the back of battery is dead so technically I don't even need this because it's not really working but I'm just I would just want to leave it there and uh, yeah it's gonna take a while it's fairly quick about 30 seconds and it's, it's gonna fully boot and this is cover put this back push it up and lock it in place okay and we already up and diamond key hold this and adjust the brightness as you can see this is hardware revision 2 and uh, yeah if you have any questions just make sure you put it in the comment section